big. Yeah, Texas is most certainly big. Yeah, that's just that was very interesting to see. But nonetheless, not to harp too much on that match as we move right over into the next one. Now we have obviously our Midwest native, our sponsorship buddy, Cindy Boo 242, get ready to face off against the Peach Extraordinaire, Sam Sora. All right. Uh, so, talking about Cindy Boo before coming into this match, uh, he was actually kind of excited to get to go against a Peach Man, uh, a matchup that he feels very comfortable against. Uh, Sam Sora, uh, being a Peach Man, uh, I'm pretty sure he's played the Sheik matchup before. Uh, let's see ooh, uh, how he can deal with this one. Okay, boom, gets the dare. No room for the follow up that time. That should have been like dare right in the forward air, but he's really gunning for it. It's so good that Cindy Boo knows how to space his aerials and try to negate that. I feel like Dare is going to be a big factor in this matchup uh, if Sam Sora is able to land those successfully. And then if Cine is able to punish them who, uh, out of shield. Dash attack. Uh, Peach is a character that packs a ton of a punch there. That up smash, uh, making she kiss the blast zone. Oh, certainly. 12% difference between both these two players. Now, this is the Cindy Boo special here, though. You know, being able to fade away, slow down the pace of the match, and then start to needle cam, but runs right into the board here, though. All right. Not yet killing. I mean, if he was any closer to the edge of the stage, that would have been a stop. Gone. Yeah. All right. Okay, boom. Down throw. Okay, out of percent for the back air follow-up that time. Good bouncing fist as he was able to use the balloon to try to mix up Sam Sora on his landing, but Sam Sora is still being so relentless, you know. Forward throw, this is the bouncing fish. Right now, man, there's just such a scary situation to be in a sheet, uh, knowing that Peach is a character that has so many strong moves that can uh, get rid of your stock. Most certainly, yes. Okay. Good stuff here by Sam Sora to jump right out of the way. That situation, the typical player would try to air dodge, you know, but that time he actually just went for the uh, the jump right out. So that was so smart. Cindy right. has Sam Sora off stage. Going to get the ooh the soft hit to Nair. No bouncing fish afterwards though. Yes. And this is what Cindy is really good at, you know. Understanding that, you know, your opponent just got that first stock on you, that's fine. He's really good, though, at, like, holding down the fort so he doesn't get hit in the process of him taking that stock. Oh, yeah. Sam Sora uh, definitely wants to try to get as much damage as he can get before uh, Cindy takes his stock. 9%. Sam Sora not really putting on a ton of hurt here, you know, giving Cindy Boo just that much more access into taking his stock here. Ooh, okay, the down throw to back here. Deals a solid amount of damage. Ooh, okay. I like that. Back air, dash attack. Right. And just slowly racking up that damage. Yeah, uh, slowly as, early. As Sam Sword just builds that rage. Yeah, you know, just chipping away at him. But there's the forwarder. Oh, and then with a the little taunt, too, looking to put possibly the opponent on tilt. Now, I don't know how often these two play. This could be actually their first time playing. But all I know is that Sam Sword is not the right player to put on tilt. That's Ooh, for sure. true. I definitely would not want to do that. All right, and now just back onto the stage. And right now, uh, Sam Sora looking to tack on a tiny bit more damage to get rid of the sheet. Taking 85 damage, definitely in danger of losing that stock. Mm -hmm. uh, on the stage uh, like Smashville, uh, Peach is just going to be able to take stock so early with that fair. Most definitely call the paramedics, man. Uh, you know, Cindy uh, Boo, excuse me, to take this man out of here on a stretcher after that first game. Oh, yes, yeah, so, And then uh, you're going to hear the... Uh, the, the, the old story, she can't kill. Oh, God. Oh, man. I don't want to hear that story. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he, you know you're gonna be, he's going to be an old man and with his grandkids. His grandkids like, Uncle Cindy or uh, Grandpa Cindy, tell me a bedtime story. <laughs> well. <laughs> tell me the story about when she can't kill. <laughs> she the pacifist? Right. Oh, goodness. All right, moving into this game number two. Uh, looks like we're going to move it right back into Smashville. Uh, and it's kind of looking like uh, the same thing that we saw uh, the last match, Cineboo uh, racking up a ton of damage. But what it's going to come down to is can he figure out how to take Sam Sora's stock? Yeah, man. You know, very reminiscent story of what we've seen in that last game where, you know, Cineboo puts on all that damage like we talked about. But yeah. now let's see if he can find a better opening here to try to run away with this. You know, Sam Sora, I'm sure, is very well versed in the Sheik matchup. But yeah. Cineboo is a different type of Sheik, let's be honest. You know, he does things that could be looked at as a little unorthodox. Oh, yes. Uh, the grenade is the number one thing. Oh, where, dude. Yeah, people don't know how to deal with it because no Sheik does the. Oh, man. Speaking of grenades. <laughs> Damn, that's all I can really say to that. Very unfortunate, you can see it. Well, I guess you can't really see it. There's no player cams here, but I can see it all over Cindy Boo's face, man. That is definitely not uh, a way that you want to start off this match here. Sam Sora has the lead yet again and chipping away at Cindy Boo ever so dominantly. Ooh, now to, ooh, and that fair, uh, just when he thought it was safe to attack. 
not what X smash. Bro, how hell? much damage did he have? What? How much damage did he have? I kept 75. <laughs> Look at Samsora's grimace. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> That's gross. <laughs> that was actually probably the nastiest read I've seen all day. Bro. Can't front. Man, but he read with his finger too. Like yeah, he was man. not gonna make a mistake. Yeah, he pulled that move out very quickly. It's almost as if he had an up smash button. Three, All right. Two, one, Next game. Go. Smashville. All right, uh, Smashville. Yet again. Once again. All right. Okay, he's gonna finish the jab combo that time. Uh, just, just take the free damage. Ooh. All right, so uh, Sinibu, in this game number three, uh, looking to be able to take at least one here off of Sam Sora. Uh, I mean, the last two matches, he started off uh, magnificently. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, he just came into issues to where it's, uh, it's kind of hard to kill Peach. Well, you know, and Sam Sora's probably looking at this matchup like this. Obviously, you know, there's no doubt in his mind that she is going to outframe Daddy. Yeah. So with that being said, she's going to be able to put some damage on. In the hands of somebody like Sinibu, that's going to happen to you. Oh, yeah. But... The trades is what's really hurting City Boot. You know, he's putting damage on, but a lot of these are trades where he's trading like back here or forward. Here. That's Ooh, just not a good okay. position to be in. But speaking of bad positions, though, Sam Sora gets kind of caught slipping out there. Toad ain't going to save you here, girl. Yeah. Ooh, gosh. Down there into fair, tacking on some big damage. And right now, uh, this gives City Boot a chance to, you know, lay back, tack on some damage from a distance so, uh, you know, he doesn't get hit with these powerful attacks from Peach. Right, of course. Okay, good spot dodge as he comes right in. What seemed to be aggressively. Kind of gave off that false illusion here. Let's see if Sinibu can get a bait and punish Sam Sora hot on his trail, though. Okay, fair into Bouncing Fish. Sam Sora sitting at 53 damage. Definitely, uh, ooh. All right. This is the spot throw. that I kind of feared for most opponents as they face off against somebody like Sinibu. What they don't know is that once he gets the lead, he shifts the whole tide of battle. He starts to slow it down, and he really forces you to come to him. Definitely something Sam Sora is going to need to do. Uh, oh, gosh, and the forward smash not killing cross stage. Uh, she definitely got to be counting her blessings. Most certainly. Not enough rage to take that stock there. Right, but Sam Sora, though, not letting up at all. There's the dash attack, 139%. Might not be enough to get it done, but Sinibu in a really bad spot. Not too often you get to see a Sheik live this long. Definitely going to try and take advantage of that rage, and that vanish was just this close to hitting. Yeah. Ooh, all right, Nair comes in. And now uh, Sam Sora's at that percent where you actually don't want to do any trading anymore, uh, something that's normally okay, but when you're sitting at 116 damage, I mean, you just got to find that clean hit. Yeah, man. And he's really struggling to find that here. Everything's looking really dirty right now. There's the back row again, charged up needles. Sinibu is smoking right now. Okay. These guys reset once again. These guys sitting with ooh, massive amounts of rage. All right, Sam Sora sitting at 143 damage. Now, we've seen what he did with a little rage in that last game, man. He killed Cindy Boy at about, what, 75%? Yeah, he died at 75%. That's uh, unfortunate to see. We've definitely seen what uh, Peach is able to do with massive amounts of rage. But uh, luckily for Sheik, Sheik is a fast faller. Don't think we have to worry about any parasol shenanigans here. No, absolutely not. This Here's is where things two. get very Here's scary, though, for Cindy Boo. Sam Sora understands, like we mm -hmm. talked about, he fully understands that he has rage. So most of what Cindy Boo's going to have to put on board here are going to be trades. All right. And uh, right now, with Sam Sora sitting at 177%, uh, it's almost time for that forward Toad of Sheiks to kill. Yeah. He's certainly looking for it, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay, again, more needles, 198%. Will she reach the 200 percent top? Hair is going to kill. All right, Cindy Boo 242 uh, is going to be able to at least walk away with uh, one game off of Sam Sora. All right, Sam Sora's like, all right, all right, <laughs> spinning that headphone there. Yeah, so you I know see what you. you're doing. I see you, man. I feel like that's like the equivalent of like Peach taking her gloves off and like you know flickering them around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any gloves, so I'm just going to you know, burn my head from I guess so. Yeah, we definitely missed a glove drop. All right. Uh, heading uh, to Lilac in game number four. Uh, Lilac always a very interesting uh, uh, stage. Being seen picked, uh, especially by the Peach Man here. Yeah, you know, very highly uh, you know, controversial stage here for the most part, but I think at this point in time it's in the meta. The oh, players yeah. are just like, you know what, it's here to stay until Sakurai gives us something better, if he ever gives us something if better. If he ever gives us something better, so we can have to learn how to fight on this stage. Right. Okay, 
right up to wow good stuff for okay. right in the up to a city boot man low percent combos looking really good right now there back air try to get another back air Ooh, and a vanish all right 93 damage uh put on the sam sword here okay he has a grab Ooh, from a fast distance away too let's talk about that grab range for a second Sinny Sim pretty good here uh, as far as percentage goes, but uh, as we've seen in the first few games, it doesn't matter how much damage he gets on this Peach because Peach is just going to use that rage right against him. All right, so we got to grab. It's a bouncing fish, but that's not yet going to kill. Yep, but we need to see a lot more, though. Oh, oh no. My goodness. Oh my okay, so he got the tech there. And Whoa! Then got the vanish afterwards, but it sends him the other way, and he's going to taunt even though he didn't get the kill yet. Okay. Really looking for a lot here. Tries to go for another vanish. Oh, yeah. Good. That's the attack punish there. Yeah, he said, look, you're getting a little too cocky, maybe a little too preemptive on what you think may uh -huh. kill me. Let me go ahead and show you why I'm the best peach in the world. Good jab, forward tilt. Gets him up there in the air. Oh my gosh, that's fair. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, dog. It just, I'm, you can feel it when somebody else gets hit by it. You really feel for him. Uh, chasing Samsor off stage and chasing Peach off stage is uh, never an easy task uh, with her floating. Uh, dealing with the parasol as well. All right, jab, jab, forward tilt is going to take out Peach. City Boo sitting at 48 damage. It's still a match that is in reach. Yeah, most certainly in reach, man. But I know that Sam Sora is going to come out and try to widen the gap here. But let's see if City Boo can try to stop the bleeding. As we see right here, the deficit drawing itself very, very close. There, there. There oh, seems to be his tilt. thing. Oh, yes. That's City Boo's uh, bread and butter here for the most part. Oh, no. Oh, the forward smash. So he's gonna vanish back onto the stage, and Samsor is gonna kill. No, <laughs> dag. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a set here. Sinibu, uh evening things up here versus yeah. Samsor. It's a peach main extraordinaire. We have ourselves a game five situation. Samsor is silly for that one. Yeah. <laughs> silly Samsor. Say, Sam say that five times fast. <laughs> silly Samsor. Don't, don't stop. Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. <laughs> oh, oh man. Okay, so um, we could be heading back to Lilac. I could definitely, okay, I could definitely see us uh, going back to Lilac, especially uh, because of the reason Sam Sora uh, lost that match was because of the SD. Not saying that Sandy Boo 242 uh, couldn't have came back and won that match himself, but uh, he was definitely in the lead at the time. Yeah, he most certainly was. All right, so uh, right now, Sam Sora uh, uh, kind of losing some momentum here, dropping the last two games. Yeah. So, Sandy Boo 242 might be going into this with some confidence that he can take this set. Well, definitely, you know, and this is starting off like how the last match did. You know, Sandy Boo has this slight lead here. Sam Sora's working with a little bit of rage on his behalf, and things get kind of ugly for Sandy Boo. But, you know, like I talked about in the past, you know, Sandy Boo's been getting a lot of big damage based off of trades. And I'll, I'll be honest, you know, as strong as a character Sheik may be, you know, I don't want to keep trading with Peach yeah. over and over again. I mean, I'll just, I'm going to be straight up with you. She's going to take all your cards, man. Right, dude. Ooh. Once again, another trade. Something that Sheik does not want to do. Oh, gosh. That back here does so much damage. Oh, gets Ooh, okay. the drag down up here. Okay. Pretty nice combo. Ooh, tries to get him with the up smash. Uh, Lilac being uh, the perfect height on those side platforms for Sheik, the perfect spot, that up smash. Okay, struggling to get back down here on the main stage, something that Samsora doesn't really struggle with here. Okay, gets the one-two jab again off the mark with the grab, and Samsora again always there for that punish. The minute you whiff anything, he is there. Oh. He had he had to get out that corner. Ooh, and that bouncing fish is going to take Samsora off stage, not yet killing Needles back online here. Uh-oh. Got a little bit of spaghetti here, but who has the sauce? Okay, back throw. No ragu. Oh, Ooh, and this that's forward definitely forward throw. Yeah. yeah. Not gonna kill. I mean, I was kind of thinking about melee there for a second. <laughs> Ooh, and the mirror is gonna keep Sheep off stage. This is exactly where Samsung has wanted him throughout the entirety of this match. Ooh, oh, okay. wow. Shout out to the turn up. Was able to hit the forwarder and grab the turn up at the same time. Talk about quick fingers, man. Definitely a young Ooh, man's game. Gosh. Fade back and uh, hits that forwarder. Take off that sheep stop. Yeah, this is where things could get a little crazy here for Cindy Blue. Sam Sora has the lead. He's definitely going to hold on to it as much as possible. Ooh, Boom. He's going to get the grab. Down throw. Some big damage. Right, some more needles. Back here. 
Oh, gosh. And right now, Sheik is just really... Okay, what so, the, so the fair killed. Uh, definitely That's like the third fair that yeah. has killed this set. You know, this is probably more fair kills than I've seen in, like, a long time. Yeah. Sheik fair kills are definitely not a, a common occurrence. Not at all. Wow, okay, good footwork. Runs right out, comes back in, gets the grab. The bleeding not really stopped here. Cindy Ooh, kind of running out of answers. Yeah, it's just really gushing. Sam Sora sandbagging? It might Grab a forward throw. Starting to punish that nair. Give him some jabs, tilts. They try to bait an air dodge out there. It's the up tilt, trying to catch him off of that top platform up there. I'm liking what I'm seeing here. He's trying to cut the lead in half, but is it too little, too late? He has rage, but we've seen what that can do for Sheik at times. It can help her, but it can also really hurt her. Ooh, okay. 80 damage tacked on, and Sam Sora off stage. Oh, oh gosh, God, that's certainly, that that's certainly gonna, gonna do take it. out Sinibu. Whew, and a game five where uh, I mean, he tried to pull it back, but uh, I mean, give him a round of applause for uh, Sinibu. 2 4 2. Yeah, a uh, valiant effort put up. <laughs>